How is the capacity of a hard disk faint? I was reading about magical Chinese drives. How would this be done? The post talks about a loop mode and comments suggest having a different controller to lie to the OS. I went and bought one of these devices, tried it and it worked as advertised, overwriting data when it was full, although when I formatted it, it started showing its true capacity. How is this achieved? FAT32 has a master table with free space. You can hex edit that master table to show any amount of free space. I've had a floppy disk sized 3.7 and NBSP GB for ages now. The hardware is not modified, the file table is simply modified to fool the OS. During a format the file table gets wiped and thus the genuine capacity reading is restored. You can get caught by these type of cheap fake flash drive or even hard drives in China all the time if you go to a non-reputable seller. Here is how you create a 1 trillion bytes, 1 and NBSP, TV, disk on key using Linux. Create fake formatted 1 and NBSP, TB disk. Check that it really happened. Connect your doke and check how it was mounted. Find the device name. Something like slash dev slash sdb1, if you make a mistake here, you might ruin some other disk connected to the system, so be careful. Unmount it. Find out the size of our fat table. The first number is the size in kilobytes. Copy over to Doak. Freak out your friend. You can mount it locally for playing around like this. Until I saw your message I was sure it was a different controller. Using a modified controller, you can tell anything you like to the OS. But given that the format modifies this behavior, it means that some kind of trickery took place in the file system level as well. This raises two options. This is a modification of the controller that simply doesn't work after formatting because it depends on a file system modification, which still seems to me is more likely. There is another way to do this without a hardware modification, for example by modifying a free blocks linked list to be circular. I am not familiar enough with the specifics of FAT32 to decide if this is possible. Might check in a few days if no one else does first. Edit. It is naive to assume FAT32 is being used. A much more likely scenario is that a different file system that inadvertently allows such circular free space management trickery is used. As long as that file system is also supported by the OS, it would be virtually invisible to the user. This makes looking at such a device much more interesting. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh.